Oh, who's this? It's Marty. She's on my porch and she's got her dog. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. It looks like our potatoes have grown, so it could be that we can actually get our chicken coop built today. Marnie's got a quest for me, though, it looks like. You see this dog here? I do, I see him! Wait, is he going to be mine? No! I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray. Poor thing. Oh, but it's got a collar. Seems to like this place. Don't you think this farm could use a good dog? I don't want to steal someone's dog, Marnie. Crying out loud, but sure. We Oh, no! We need to give the dog a name! Ah, uh, well, I'm not sure. What are we going to call him? Ah, uh, you know what? This is going to bring back a few memories for some of you guys. Uh, what does the randomizer give us? Kiki, Tapoda, Gak, Fry, Joe, Shinana, Wallow. <laughs> These are terrible names. We're gonna call it. Sorry if your dog is called one of these names, by the way. We are gonna call our dog Jake. And this might ring a few bells for some of you guys at home. But yeah, welcome. Ha oh, ha! It's like Feed the World Deliver again. Well, Jake, you be a good pooch now, okay? So, what can we get our dog to do? Oh, this is pretty exciting times. But also, check it out. Our taters have grown, and that means. We might actually have enough moolah to go and get an animal coop. Now our scarecrow looks to be doing his job quite well. He's looking after the crops. Oh, lots of potatoes in that one. So we've got now, let's see, 27 potatoes. I think I'm pretty confident that's going to be enough to push us towards the, the five grand that we need. Just in case it's not, I'm just going to grab some of the more valuable things that we've got in our chest. Because if push comes to shove, could always sell this stuff. Oh, there he is! It's Jake! What can we do with him, though? Oh, he's just... Just walking around. All right, Jake, catch you later. So we're going to head into town, see if we can sell our junk. And maybe we have enough to buy the chicken coop. It's a bit of a long shot, but I think we could probably do it today. Let's also check the bulletin board, see if there's any cool quests for people that we... No, nope, no quests at all. And tomorrow is Pam's birthday, but nobody cares about Pam. Closed on Wednesdays? No. No! What are we going to do? Where can we sell our stuff? Maybe we can sell them over at Marnie's Ranch. She gave us a dog. Maybe we can give her some potatoes as thanks, but also get paid for them. Howdy, Marnie! Supplies shop. Yeah, she doesn't want to buy potatoes. That is a real crying shame. But these are some of the things that you can buy from her. Interesting. Shears. I guess shears for shearing sheep and milk pail for cows. And then cows obviously need stuff to eat and stuff. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm not sure what we're going to use, what, what kind of animals we're going to store. I guess chickens are the first thing to do because you get eggs and they don't require much food to live. Man, why does it have to be a Wednesday? Why can't this shop be closed on Sundays? That makes much more sense. Still, while we wait for the shop to be open tomorrow, we're going to hightail it into the mine to see if we can dig our way to riches. Oh, hang on a sec. No way. This is a daffodil, which is the perfect gift for Haley. So if we bump into Haley, we have something to woo her with. Oh, there she is. There she is, you beautiful woman, you. I'll tell you what, I'm going to get these daffodils too, because why not? That is the stuff. And now let's give one to this fantastic lady. Hey, sugar, how's it going? No, don't eat a daffodil. What are you doing? No! <gasps> For me? Thank you. Oh, my God, she's got black lips. She's uh, having a black lipstick day. Great. So we've got another gift for Haley, Or rather, the first gift for Haley, But it's one that she loves. So let's just double-check our relationship status. And yeah, one more gift and we'll get a heart for Haley, I think. And I guess the best way to get more hearts is probably by doing tasks and quests for her. Now, one cool tip, actually. If you ever want to mine a lot of stone really quickly, you see these big stones down here? What you can do is you can dig one of these up in this level, get all the stone, that's lots of stone, go up the ladder, reset it, go down, and a new mine is generated, and basically you come down and chances are there, there might be a stone here. But if there's not, you just go up and you reset it again. And there you go, another big stone. 
You can't do the same for copper though, because copper doesn't spawn on this level. Oh man, it's super dark and super late in Pelican Town. And honestly, I'm just super lucky that there's no crime here, because if we were in a city, I'd probably have been mugged and stabbed like 12 times on my way home already. Woohoo! Level 2 farming, nice! One hoe proficiency, one watering. Oh, and a stone fence, a mayonnaise machine, and a sprinkler. Oh. Morning, Jake. How's it going? Sounds like a rainy day, which is my favorite kind of day. Right, now it's time to head into town and see if we've got enough moolah to actually get the chicken coop. We should be there by now, guys. Sweet, 2,100 gold. That pushes us up to 3,300 gold. 700 more to go until we can afford the chicken coop. Wow, it takes 12 days. Well, we'll get one cauliflower seed. But you know what? Let's just get as much as we can afford of parsnip seeds. Four days to mature. That shouldn't be too bad. And we'll double our money, turn three grand into six. No sweat. All it's going to take is four days. Now, we're going to need 50, 50 slots. So this is three, four, five. And this is 10 wide. So this should be perfect, actually. In fact, we could have probably gotten 100 parsnips. What we really need is a sprinkler. And we can craft one but it takes one iron bar. I haven't even got any iron ore yet. We can make, oh, we can make basic fertilizer for only two sap. Tell you what, guys, that sounds like a pretty freaking amazing idea. Let's get all the sap from the chests and make a load of fertilizer. Whoa, 158 sap. How much fertilizer can we actually make? Well, we can definitely make 50 of this. There we go. We'll have to water them, of course. Now, our strawberries are going to take a little bit of time to uh, actually mature. They take eight days in total, but they do need watering every day. So let's just give them their daily dose. So how are you guys at home doing? I hope if you've been playing Stardew Valley, I'd love to see what your farms look like. So make sure you tweet what your farms are like to at uh, YogscastGin. And I'd love to see your farms. Just screenshots of what awesome stuff you've created. And if they're especially amazing, I will retweet them because I'd just love to see what you guys have done. You know what, guys? We've got like two hours left of daylight in the town. So let's go up here and see what is up here. I've never been up here, you know? Oh, what? Whoa! I didn't even know you could do this. Wait, or did I? Have I actually been here before? Oh, oh, a leak. Sweet, that's the last piece of the puzzle. Okay, let's hightail it back to the community center and get our spring foraging package. No time to lose! Oh man, I could really use like a bicycle or a horse right now. There she blows, the community center. Worse for wear, but still a fine example of a magnanimous building. Let's head inside and hand in the leak. I can't wait to see what's inside the spring foraging bundle. I check, you could see before, but I've forgotten. All right, here we go. Last piece of the puzzle, a leak. Boom! Bundle complete! Bridge repair is the reward. But what bridge? 30 spring seeds. An assortment of wild spring seeds. Oh, right. And bridge repair is the reward for doing all of these. Ah, it's good that we did this then. With only 10 days left of spring, it's good that we managed to finish this. Because then we got exotic, construction. What is this? Wood, wood, stone, and hardwood gets us the construction bundle. How do you even get hardwood? Actually, I do know how you get hardwood. You have to upgrade your axe. Oh, what's this? Cutscene. Oh, a new... A new task. And um, what's this? What's going on now? Whoa, the whole area is opening up. Let's go and read these. Pantry, spring crops, parsnip, a green bean, a cauliflower, and a potato? Oh... So we can use these spring random seeds to hopefully get a green bean, a potato, a cauliflower, and a parsnip and complete the bundle. Sweet. Okay, we're going to have to do that while we still got spring left. But what's this up here? Is this a fish tank? Fish tank! Yeah, it is! River fish bundle. Oh, so you get different fish in different areas. No way! So what's the... Sea fishing, ocean fish bundle is sardine, tuna, red snapper, and tilapia. Whew, well, I've only caught a sardine so far. Tuna, red snapper, and tilapia, they, they must be pretty, pretty tough to catch. 
river fish. Sunfish, catfish, shad, and tiger sprout. Are the river fish the easiest ones to do then? Interesting. And that looks like everything that's opened up now, but it's given us some new goals. Now we have fish goals and we have crop goals. That's pretty cool. Well, now that we've got these 30 assorted seeds, it's time to get home, probably make some more fertilizer, but also put down a whole bunch more seeds. I'm not sure I really have the energy though. Oh yeah, I'm pre running pretty low. Well, I've got all the sap. Let's just make some fertilizer into the car. I've got 150 sap still, so it shouldn't be a problem. There we go, 30 ferts. So what I'm gonna do is get my hoe and dig out three more layers. So that's one, two, three. Now because the scarecrow's in the middle of this one, we're gonna have to expand one of these by one. So we'll put that extra one there. This should work. We've got a couple of hours left of daytime. Well, let's get as many crops down as I can. There we go. That's all that I can manage, I think. And watering actually does cost energy as well. So maybe there is a way for me to get some more energy back. Have I got any food like, oh, of course, mum's cookies. Genius. It's time for a cookie injection. There we go, eat the cookie. Yeah, eat the cookie. Mmm, eat the cookie. 90 energy, sweet, plenty to finish the job here. And that's all the seeds, wow. Looks like those cookies were just the right amount of energy to get me through the day. Right, and with 14 energy left, I'm gonna call it a night. Thanks for watching Stargy Valley, guys, and hopefully next episode we'll get our chicken coop. But we have unlocked the secrets of the community center today. We've got the spring foraging bundle, it's pretty amazing. Catch you next time, guys, take care.